Nigeria's public debt is set to exceed 50 trillion naira this year, representing a 29.8% increase above the 39.56 trillion at the end of 2021. What is the implication of this should this trend persist? Now, positive reactions to a federal high court's decision ordering the government to comply with the 35% affirmative action for women. And like always, we will be reviewing the big stories making headlines across national dailies this morning. Good morning to you. This is The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. I am Justin Akadoni. I trust you had yourself a rested weekend and you are raised up for the week ahead. And I hope that you actually took out time to rest. Uh, we'll go off straight to uh, what's trending. A whole lot happening over the weekend. Uh, but let's uh, start with something that was not so cheerful. A gospel musician popularly known for the Equimi fame, um, Osinachi, and what you could die there over the weekend. Uh, uh, we've had... Uh, different uh, reasons concerning her death. Uh, initially, there were reports that uh, she had cancer, but more revelations uh, you know, were revealed uh, over time, and uh, we hear that it is alleged domestic violence. You know, she was, uh, from what we hear, the, the family, you know, is in the news and they are saying that uh, the husband uh, kicked her in the chest. She was hospitalized and eventually uh, she had a blood uh, cluster in her chest, uh, which uh, led to her death. And this has sparked a whole lot of reactions across uh, various uh, social media platforms with lots of Nigerian women pastor talking about uh, this issue of um, domestic violence and uh, uh, the church's position towards it and the issue of uh, separation, the issue of um, divorces and um, why you should you know, stay uh, or not stay in a, a very uh, toxic uh, relationship and um, marriage as it is. From what we know that the gospel musician, uh, she had uh, four children for her husband and uh, from Reactions that we have seen across, uh, you know, social media. Frank Edwards uh, also reacted to uh, her death, and uh, he was saying that he will see to the end that um, this lady gets justice. So it, br it brings to mind the issue of um, domestic violence. A whole lot has been said concerning uh, domestic violence. Uh, you know, why must you remain in a marriage when you know that? Uh, your life might be in danger. A whole lot of time, uh, you know, when uh, the church is brought to the picture of this, uh, we hear stories like uh, uh, try and pray concerning your marriage, uh, you, know, uh, you know, it might be your own uh, fate and all that. But I don't believe that uh, you have to be in a relationship just because you want to keep up appearances. Uh, there were talks that uh, she said, um, a tongue would wag you know, if uh, she eventually left her husband since she is a gospel or was a gospel singer right now. You know, what would happen you know, if uh, people were to hear that um, she uh, is leaving her husband? You know, but the fact is that you have to be alive before you can actually you know, get uh, your job done. You have to be alive before you can actually save your own children because uh, a whole lot of time, a lot of people you know, are silent concerning this issue of domestic violence. But let's see if we can take some clips uh, concerning that. I will come talk some more. My counsel to anybody, if you don't love anybody's daughter, instead of killing them, hand them back to their father. Divorce is not allowed under any condition. But this is what I believe. It is better to be alive and there is no marriage than for you to die because of marriage. A killer marriage is a nonsense marriage. There are people who can finish their wife or husband emotionally, psychologically, mentally. This woman is a shadow of her life. This man is not a man anymore. Hypertension, ulcer, pressure, arthritis because of a useless personality in the name of a husband. Submission is not subjugation. Submission is not slavery. 
Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 is preceded by verse 21. Submitting one to another. Every aircraft has a pilot and a co-pilot. The fact that you are the head of the relationship does not mean you should kill the body. Does not mean you should kill the body in the name of religion. And then I say the woman is not submitting. Submission, Bible submission, not demonic submission. Bible submission is strength put under control, and you submit one to another. Pastors, please stop this evil. Pastors, wives, please stop this evil. Can you allow your own daughter or your own son to stay in an abusive relationship and tell him or her to be, to be praying while you are fasting until he or she dies? Let's stop this rubbish. It is not biblical. It is not biblical. Please, I'm going to invite one or two of you, please understand that nobody should tell you to stay in any abusive relationship. It does not matter the title, bishop, assistant bishop, assistant geo. It does not matter the relationship. Don't die before you seek for help. It's not slavery. It is not slavery. It is not slavery. Let's stop this rubbish. It cannot continue. If you're a pastor and you are hearing me, and you can please forward this to your pastor. It is not biblical. For you to tell people to stay in an abusive relationship while the man is beating her and slapping her and frustrating her psychologically, you know, another. Okay, is is Funke saying that people should, should leave their marriages? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is any marriage that is not worth the onion, let the parties please step out into safety first before you not begin to take talk about reconciliation. And any man that raises his hand to beat his wife needs psychiatric attention. That is it. Needs a psychiatrist. Needs to see a psychiatrist. You cannot begin to use the Bible. You too, you can read the Bible. Your life is important. Job chapter 12, verse 3. You are like I said, the church is talking about this. A whole lot of preachers are in their sermons yesterday, you know, dealt with the issue of domestic violence. Some people would say, uh, when you actually got married, it is for better, for worse. Some people have argued that, that the Bible does not say anything about for better, for worse. It is just some sort of vow that uh, has been made popular over the years. That um, if you are not safe in a relationship, uh, even if you're not married, sometimes this, um, there are telltale signs you know, before you know, marriage you know, comes the picture. People are dating, people are in a relationship and their boyfriends are beating them up and yet uh, they say uh, he's doing that um, because I provoked him. These are telltale signs. If your boyfriend is beating you and you're still staying in that relationship, do you think he would change over time when he is married to you? I don't think that is going to happen. So when you see these signs, you know, when uh, these things happen, talk about them. Don't keep silent. At the end of the day, you're not just... Uh, you know, doing it for yourself. You're also doing it for other women who you know, might not really have um, the voice or you know, the strength to want to talk about these things. At the end of the day, people you know, are dying. People are suffering, and uh, some people don't even you know, come out of it alive like we had seen in the case of uh, the popular gospel singer. I'll leave it at that, you know, but uh, let's just keep that particular conversation some flowing containing this issue of domestic violence because it is something that needs to be nipped in the bud. A whole lot of um, times we have talked about this, but then it's as though the incidences are just uh, increasing by the moment. Well, let's move away from that one and talk about something again that trended also during the weekend. There are more presidential bids towards the 2023 elections. And just on Saturday, the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amici, you know, declared his intention, you know, to run for the presidency come 2023. He says that he is going to succeed President Mohamed Bari. He did that before a mammoth crowd um, in Port Hackett. You know, a lot of um, big wigs were there to support um, him there. They thronged with him there in Port Harcourt. Aside from Amici, uh, also uh, the governor of Kogi State uh, also made his intention known on Friday. Uh, he did that. Uh, and uh, 
uh, aside from that, again, uh, the Edo State, uh, former Edo State Governor uh, Adams Oshomale has also made his intention known to contest, you know, 2023. We'll see more presidential bids, uh, you know, emerge over time because um, a lot of people, you know, seem to be nursing ambitions to, you know, control the machinery of government come 2023. So the question right now would be, what are they selling to the electorate? What are they going to do differently? Some people have questioned uh, some of these people who, uh, are showing the interest to run for 2023. What did they do differently when they were in power, as in governors, uh, ministers? What um, have they contributed to the development uh, of Nigeria? What pedigree, you know, do they have? Are they the right candidates, you know, for you know 2023? At the end of the day, it's Nigerians that will decide their fate. So, the book rests on Nigerians. Like I said, more bits uh, will be made known. From what we hear, Vice President. Uh, <laughs> Professor Yemi Oshibajo is also in the news. Uh, he is uh, uh, going from reports that we hear, he is going to make his declaration uh, known today. Uh, but it, it is going to be from a bit different uh, from how others have um, done theirs. You know, most people, they, they are just to press others, uh, you know, made their declaration through a mammoth crowd at the stadium. But from what we hear about um, the VP, we hear he is going to uh, just. Uh, post a recorded video and uh, make his decisions known and uh, then his uh, campaign team will just um, dive into it already. So, like I have said, Vice President Oshibajo is declaring his interest today. Former uh, Edo State Governor Adams Oshomale has made his interest known. Governor Yahaya Bello of Kogé State is also in the race and the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, is also in the race. Uh, uh, funny enough, uh, in River State, uh, two governors, uh, some people have um, termed it as um, a derby, like uh, uh, two football uh, teams uh, close together. Rotimi Amechi is in the news, he's from River State, and of course, we also heard that uh, the sitting governor of uh, River State is also interested in running for the seat come 2023. That's Nyesom Wiki. We'll see how all of this um, play out. Just who knows, I might also declare my interest and uh, my intention to run. But that's on a lighter note. Also, there are lots of stories still trending. Cristiano Ronaldo ah, is in the news. All right, although he has come out to apologize for smashing a fan's phone, uh, he has also invited the fan over uh, to watch um, a match uh, the Manchester United Stadium. But the thing is that uh, a lot of people are saying that what he did was a little... Uh, too much fine. Uh, he had an injury and um, the fan, I think the fan was trying to record the video uh, of him when he was uh, just uh, trying to get down the tunnel and he in anger, maybe out of um, all that has happened before the game, their loss and um, his injury, he uh, picked uh, the phone from the, the fan and he smashed it. But he has come out to apologize on social media saying that um, Fine, now sometimes our emotions get the better of us, but then uh, he would love to, you know, be with the, the fan and also uh, invite him over to come watch uh, at the Manchester United um, um, play again. So that's it for Cristiano Ronaldo smashing a fan's phone. You know, some people have likened, uh, you know, what happened with uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and the fan to uh, what happened at the Academy Awards uh, where Will Smith uh, could not hold back his anger. And he went off stage and uh, slapped um, Chris Rock, which has actually elicited a whole lot of reactions. And um, of course, there was a sanction and he has been you know, banned from the Academy Awards for the next uh, 10 years. Nigerians can learn a bit of a lesson from all of that, no matter what it is, as much as possible. If you are angry, if you're frustrated about things and uh, you're not happy with the way things are going, just try as much as possible to calm down before you make any uh, decision. At the end of the day, when you make decisions when you're angry, you just might end up making hasty decisions and uh, it might be one that you would, over time, regret. So away from Cristiano Ronaldo, Temi or Tedola is in the news and she just got engaged with her boyfriend, Mr. Easy. And uh, a lot of people are very happy for them. And uh, uh, the billionaire's um, daughter's um, um, 
other other sister, you know, also reacted to this particular news, and uh, that's a DJ copy, and she post, reposted um, the video saying how she was um, thrilled and happy that uh, Mr. Easy is uh, welcome to the family that she's always wanted, a big brother. So Tamiya Tadela and uh, Mr. Easy are engaged and we wish uh, the couple all the best. So that's as much as we can take on Top Trend and we'll take a quick break and when we come back we'll be reviewing the front pages of major dailies uh, with an analyst and uh, let's see what uh, the papers are saying in a moment on Top Trend. On the, off the press rather.